Hello children, in this video we are going to discuss exercise 14.1. In this exercise only 4 questions are there, question number 2, 4, 5 and 6. So first of all we will do the question number 2 children, construct the following angles using ruler and compass. For this you only need ruler and compass. So children first question is, first part of second question it is 60 degree angle we have to construct. For constructing 60 degree angle children first of all draw a line of any length so here mark a point O and here you can give X after this children it will be at O you can open your compass of any size and will keep the pointer of your compass at point O and draw an arc like this when I have drawn an arc children where this arc is cutting a line OX give it name P at P keep your pointer and no need to move your compass after this at P keep your pointer of the compass and mark this arc. So this angle will be your draw an arc from 0 to from this arc and this angle will be your 60 degree angle. This is your 60 degree angle. After this children it is 45 degree. For 45 degree first of all we will construct a 90 degree angle. For 90 degree again draw a ray of any length at again point O. Open your compass of this much size. At point O, draw an arc. Here we have drawn an arc. Drawn an arc. And give this point as P. And then at P, you can keep the pointer of the compass at point P. And mark an arc. Again, keep the pointer at 60 degree. And mark an arc over here. And mark an arc above the arc also. And from here also, you can cut the previous arc. Draw a dotted line. O. So when I have drawn the dotted line, this is your 90 degree angle. Now children, keep the pointer of your compass at P point. Mark an arc over here and keep the pointer at 90 degree and cut this arc. Now you can draw a line from O to this arc like this. And this angle will be your 45 degree angle because 45 is half of 90. Now after this children, it is 30 degree angle. For 30 degree, again we have to draw 60 degree. So here it is 0 and here it is X. O and X. And keep the pointer of your compass over here. Draw 60 degree angle children. So at 60 degree, again keep the pointer here only. At this point, P, draw an arc over here. Keep the pointer at 60, draw an arc over here. Now, draw a line passing through this arc, it will be Y and this is your 30 degree. This is your Y point and this is 30 degree. Next children, fourth part 120. For 120 again, we have to draw 60 degree angle. So draw a 60 degree angle. Here I will draw a 60 degree angle, keep the pointer at 60 degree. Draw an arc over here. So this is your 120 degree angle. This is your 120 degree angle. Y is O and here is this X. Next children, fifth part, 135 degree angle. For 135, draw a 90 degree angle children. For 135, draw a 90 degree angle. I have told you earlier also how to draw the 90 degree angle. So like this you will draw a 90 degree angle. Dotted line only. After this, because children straight line is of 180 degree. So keep your pointer at this another end of the arc. Draw an arc. Keep the pointer at 90. Draw an arc. So this is your 135 degree angle. Here it is O, here it is X, here it is Y. Next children, 105 degree angle. Draw a ray of any length. O, X. Draw a 90 degree angle again here. Like this, 60 degree, 120 degree from 120 
and from 60 you will draw a arc and draw a line from here drawn now afterwards from 9 you will keep the pointer at 90 draw an arc you will keep the pointer at 120 and cut this previous arc so this angle will be of 105 degree angle this is your point y children and this is 105 degree last part of this question children 75 degree for 75 degree again draw an arc o and x draw a 90 degree angle draw a 90 degree angle over here for 90 degree we will first of all draw a 60 degree and 120 120 and from 60 we will draw an arc draw a dotted line from here and keep the pointer of your compass at 60 degree draw an arc over here keep the pointer at 90 degree cut this previous arc on 60 and on 90 you have to keep the compass now children this is your 75 degree angle you have to practice a lot children for these construction questions then only you will be aware how to solve them next children question number fourth question number fourth it is given to you draw a line segment a b so take a scale and draw a line segment a b 6 cm draw a line segment ab 6 cm so i will draw a line segment ab 6 cm this is a this is b and this is 6 cm now what they have told you construct the perpendicular bisector of it perpendicular means children 90 degree bisector means cutting in two equal parts bi means two sector means cutting in two equal parts for this, open your compass more than the half of the radius. Half of the radius means if this is 6 cm, half of 6 is 3. So, open your compass more than 3. 3 cm more we have to open. You can also keep the pointer of the compass here. Open it more than half of this. So, when you have opened, keep the pointer at A. Mark an arc over here. Above the line, mark an arc below the line. Keep the pointer at B, mark an arc here, cut this previous arc and cut this previous arc. Now, draw a line passing through these two arcs. So, this is your perpendicular bisector. Here, you will draw this type of sign which is of 90 degree. This sign means it is of 90 degree. Children, question number 5th. 5th and 6th are similar. 5th I am doing, 6th will be your own. Question number 5th, children. Draw a line segment PQ 5.5. So draw a line segment PQ 5.5. From here 5.5, 1 point on 0, 1 point on 5.5. Name it as PQ right here 5.5 centimeter. Now children mark a point M on PQ such that PM is 2.5. Now from P, you have to draw 2.5 line. So, this is 2.5. So, mark this point as M. Mark this point as M. And this will be your 2.5 centimeter. Draw perpendicular on PQ at M. Now, how to draw perpendicular at M? Draw a 90 degree at M. Perpendicular, I have told you earlier also. Draw a 90 degree angle. When they have told you to draw a perpendicular, it means you have to draw a 90 degree angle. So like this, first of all 60 degree, then 120 degree, keep the pointer on 60, draw an arc, keep the pointer on 120, cut the previous arc. And draw a line passing through M and passing through these arcs. So N M is the perpendicular from on the point on the line pq nm is perpendicular on the line pq now children question number 6 you can try by yourself it is the similar to the fifth question only so thank you children and do this in term syllabus also thank you children